Well, perhaps it's the most publicized international collision since the Titanic hit an iceberg and sank over a century ago, but this collision was cosmic. The double asteroid redirection test, or DART, was successfully completed late last month. Perhaps you tracked it on NASA's website. Now the analysis begins on what has been dubbed the Save the Planet experiment. I recently visited the Space Foundation here in Colorado Springs to get a better idea of what's next. Three, two, one. This experiment actually launched literally a year ago. On NASA's first planetary defense test to intentionally crash into an asteroid. But it's been years in development. The brainchild of the Johns Hopkins Applied Science Lab in conjunction with NASA crashed the DART spacecraft into a small asteroid called Dimorphos, which is a little bigger than the Statue of Liberty, about seven million miles away, orbiting a larger asteroid, Didymus. And it's really incredible that we are able to um, target something so precisely that is so small, so far away. Pretty heady stuff, but perhaps no more important experiment when it comes to planetary defense, protecting our species against the ultimate attack. There's a lot of space junk. An estimated 30,000 so-called near-Earth asteroids flying around. None of them are a huge threat right now, but there's about 30 discovered each week. And so we're trying to think ahead of time. The goal of the experiment, slow the orbit of Dimorphos and its 12-hour orbit around Didymus by just 73 seconds. Even though it's a few seconds, it makes up a lot of difference along the trajectory and it will miss Earth. So even though it's minuscule, in the long run, it turns out to be huge. Ready? And we have Every impact <laughs> a giant leap for humanity in the name of planetary defense. Woo. The collision was a success. Now, the process begins to analyze the data. Photos have been sent back from an accompanying Italian spacecraft and critical data from the collision itself still being processed. Key questions to answer was the timing of the orbit thrown off, the size of the crater, and what is the asteroid made of? They didn't really know what Dimorphos was made of, and this will, you know, send that data back and we'll be able to analyze it and understand in the future how those kinds of metals and elements will be able to um, um, affect the change in orbit because every asteroid is a little bit different. While this whole mission might seem like something out of a movie, this is not science fiction. Scientists from around the world are fixed on this experiment. International cooperation before, during, and after. U.S. Space Command here in Colorado Springs, also a partner with NASA, providing capabilities to assist in this legitimate threat to planetary defense. But it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. Okay, a couple of weeks removed now from impact analysis shows it worked. NASA says the team would have considered a 10-minute difference in its orbit a success. But DART actually shortened the asteroid's orbit by more than a half hour. Now, a follow-up mission named Hera, named after the ancient Greek queen of gods, expected to launch in October of 2024 to arrive at Dimorphos in 2026 to measure the exact impact DART had on that asteroid. Stay tuned.